right, let's do this. It tells the light podcast, the most authentic, most organic podcast out here, baby. Let's go, give it up. Woo. We are all on benders right now. We don't sleep because we're fighting demons so don't late at night. Don't fucking say that. <laughs> what the fuck? He started don't imagine. He's like, don't fucking. My say mom's that. gonna be like, "What's a bender?" <laughs> <laughs> like it's that one guy from Futurama. <laughs> we're here sitting with honestly a walking legend right now. Yes, sir. He's an artist, a lyricist. He is one of the, honestly, one of the most humblest dudes I have met in the last year. Mr. Jakarta Slim, baby, let's go. Toast life, baby. Yes, sir, man. It's been a, it's been in the works. Yeah, I know, fool. To be honest, so it was like this. He hit me, and then he was like, "Hey, fool, like, no, no, no." But I met you when you had interviewed Duna. Yes, sir. Right, and that shit was players, fuck. And then I seen you again. At Duno's meet and greet with Brown Bag. Yes, sir. And then me, that was the first time me and him were like, oh, right, we got to coordinate, line it up. And then uh, I flaked. And then he flaked. And then I flaked. And then I Wait, I flaked? Out. Yeah, you flaked. No, I think it was my. It was you my rescheduled. Wait, wait, I rescheduled? What was it? Or what, I don't, what I don't think we've it? ever. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, that's Cap, yo. That's Hell cap. yeah. We're going to have the messages. We're going to have to follow up the DM. Yeah, we're going to have to follow up the DM. <laughs> but now, let me, let me talk about that. That, um, Oh, and also, last time I didn't do this, but we're Dylan oh, yeah. hosting also finally oh, again. again. He's back. Oh, Got a haircut, a fresh cut yes, for, the, for all his fans that are out there. <laughs> I don't got fans. <laughs> I definitely don't got fans. But that, that meet and greet, bro, it, w- it was crazy because we met each other at Duno's podcast, right? Yeah. And it was just a quick hi, bye, appreciate y'all. And then when we did that meeting, when they had that meet and greet, Met everybody, and I was like, all right, going to leave. I was like, yo, let me go say what's up to this fool. Mm. He's there. You can't miss this guy. This guy's like 6'7". Six, 6'4". Six, <laughs> I tell bitches I'm 6'5". <laughs> I think he's taller than you, no? Yeah, he is, for sure. Dude, you, I feel like a little kid when I'm next to him. He's my little guy. Imagine right? me, yeah. bro. I'm, like, I'm a little I'm, bro. I'm 5'8", yo. Just imagine that. <laughs> and um, when I went over there to, to go say, just like, yo, how's it going? See you later. That embracement. Hug. It was a big hug, embracement, showing a lot of love to each other. And, and we then, chalked it up for a bit, too. We did. It, was, it turned in, from something quick turned into like 10, 15 minutes just chopping it up. Yeah. Just chopping about life, about what, what's happening. And now we're here at the most perfect moment. Yeah, in a player-ass fucking studio right now. You know, shout out Joaquin. Shout he's, out Joaquin. He's, shout out fucking Joaquin Phoenix, he, man. He, he's somewhere, somewhere over there taking a nap real quick. Look at this, bro. Looks like, looks <laughs> like you have to. How handy, bro. <laughs> Anything is possible. But let's get right into this. You are an artist, a lyricist. You're friends with some of the biggest names in the industry right now. But let's find out about Jakarta. Where did he, where did he grow up? Where his family, brothers, siblings? You know, just really quick before we get into the good stuff. No, 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 100%. No, 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 it's cool, it's cool. It's cool. He's yeah. like, damn, I didn't, I didn't want to cry today. <laughs> No, nah, I should not go make me cry. Um, <laughs> I grew up in Mid City. It's um well, no, honestly, I grew up in Koreatown, but my I live in Mid City. So you know, growing up um, in LA, it's it's cool, regular shit. You in public school, yeah, little ghetto shit going on on the side. You feel me? Like, um, I was never like I'm not a I'm not a fucking misfit though. I just do dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not classified as a misfit or a criminal. I just hang out with those guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like. I think all around I'm a pretty good, cool dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, went to school. I, I went to Fairfax, and then I fucked up probably, like, <sighs> foo. I was in 11th grade with, like, <laughs> credits-wise, foo. Like, you're a freshman. Foo. <laughs> He's like, bro, I was back in This shit was <laughs> bad, dog. Like, I remember my parents coming to school, and, like, my counselor being like, um, yeah, this is, this is the deal. And I was like, damn, bitch, for real. Like, <laughs> I, didn't I had no idea. Though. I thought I was cruising. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wasn't cruising, though. And then I uh, transferred to continuation school. Killed it over there. Graduated on time. That's right. That's right. Got, there you go. got to give it up. You graduated. That's the important part. The right. Important part. On it's time? Important. Bro, yes. for my mother, bro, it was just like, come on, on time. On time. When we're like, fuck it. That, I think that's what, what we all do. It's not, it's not necessarily for us at, as sons – it's for our moms, True. our moms, our dads. Like for me, it was the same thing. I didn't grad. I graduated high school, cool, but like I didn't go to college. For me, 
it was because yeah. my mom, like the her look, the look your on mom, her your face. Your mom's an immigrant. Uh, no, no, no. So she came. Rest in peace, my grandpa. They came good, bro. Rest like he he worked his ass off, and everybody passed, got papers, everything. We're from uh, Michoacan, Mexico. Yeah, like Michoacan. the ice cream spot. Yeah, La like Michoacana. Dead, yeah, right there. <laughs> and um, yeah, her and my her and my dad, bro. My my dad's a sibling out of I believe nine brothers and sisters. Yeah, my dad also eleven eleven siblings. The only one, only one that said I'm gonna take holds of my life, went to school, university, got his business. Yeah, like for me, um, my bigger brother went to university and my little brother went to university also. So Wait, so how many siblings do you have? Two. So I have one older brother. His name is Hamza. Shout out my guy, Hams. Love you, boy. And then my little brother, Reza, called my guy, Ray. Love you, boy. Um, it's like, it's a it's refreshing because, like, you know, you see certain people and they're not even that close to their siblings. And, like, you grow up and, like, man, I, know, I have aunts and uncles. They'd be like... Man, their mom died, and they they don't even go to the same funeral because they can't see each other because it's like fuck you. And it's what, what's some it's about bread. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, but I mean, I guess their relationship wasn't like. I mean, my brothers fight all the time, but like we know if shit get, if shit really goes south, first person I'm gonna hit is my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, True. but nah, for real, we be on dumb shit too. <laughs> did Did you guys are you guys close in age, far in age? What's two years age? apart, all of us? Yeah, so I'm 22. My little brother 20, and my older brother's probably 24, 24, 25, some shit like that. Man, so you guys were in, you went to high school with your older brother. Nah. So my older brother went to LA High, and then my mom went, no, I don't want you to be like, bro. I went to Fairfax, and I went worse. Like, imagine, <laughs> fool. Like, I just straight went, fuck this. You like, just left me there, bro. <laughs> bro, that shit was so bad, dog. It's weird, huh? Like, some parents, like, they put their kid in one school, and then they're just like, you know what? I see the way your sibling's going. I'm going to put you just in a whole nother school. And it's even worse. Now it's like... I mean, I don't think they do it on purpose. Just, you know, but it's like... No, I feel she like... Was, she, she wanted the best for you, bro. Yeah, no, 100%. She no, I don't blame her at all. I, I fuck up all the time, bro. And I, I like... I get most of my songs too. I, like, like, I'd be like, oh, man, I'm so sorry to my mama because I know that I'm a burden and, like, shit like that, bro. And, like, imagine you, like, your parents came from... Like, I'm Indonesian. You get what I'm saying? My parents came here in the... I think 91 or 92. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know how far that is, foo? That's an 18 hour fucking, um, 18 hour, yeah, 18 hour flight, foo. For me to be a dumbass over here? Come on, dog. Like, I it. can't fucking do that, you yeah. know? So, did that, getting older, did that take a toll on you? Like, all the, the mess ups, the mishaps that you had from high school up until now, it was that one of the things you, I mean, I think, I guess you realize, right? Like, damn. Yeah, like, right now I'm still fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's perfect, but, like, yeah. it's still, like, I, I guess I, I do realize, like, I know she did not fucking come here so I could fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Like, yeah. so that's why I'm going hard in this music shit, because, bro, like, my main goal is to buy my mother a house. I used like, to go home from school, and I used to watch my mom watching HGTV, Home Edition, fucking looking at people just building houses building and shit, houses, you know? Yes. So that took something in you, like, yo, I'm going to do that for you one day. Hell yeah. So what was, like, one of the one of the life-changing moments you had, like, during your childhood then? Life-changing isn't what, though? Like, because I'm still a dumbass. You get what I'm saying? Like, nothing changed. I mean, changed. bro, you're, you're, you're 22, bro. I'm literally around your age. How old are you? 23. 23. Around your age, for you're there. For you're here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, well, I, I didn't want to give out my age, and you said you gave out my age, bitch. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm 28, by the way, for anyone else. That, <laughs> How old are you, Luis? I, I just turned 27. Old fuck. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, <laughs> but I don't lie about my age. Let's get back to the topic. Bro. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's the facts, topic. Um, anyways, but what we were saying, if you fuck up right now, this is the perfect time for you to fuck up, bro. In your, in your I mean, yeah, 20s, yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying you're fucking up. I'm just saying if you if you were to fuck up, this is how you learn, bro. Yeah, yeah no, no. I'm I'm for sure the type of person that needs to learn um, from like their own actions. You get what I'm saying? Like, I can't have a person tell me, "Hey, bro, don't do this." I gotta fuck up, and then I gotta be like, "Oh, okay, cool." Yeah. As fucked up as it sounds, bro, like it's kind of stupid, bro. I mean, that's nah. life, bro. You you yeah. learn as you go, dog. Nah, yeah. but smart people hear it and they go, "Okay, I'm not gonna do this." 
Not go, nah, let me see what's up. <laughs> let me see what's <laughs> you know what up. Saying? Maybe. But, but the fuck-ups that we do have gives us stories to tell. Yeah, that's So, cool. like, for us, it gives us a story to tell here in the podcast, right? Because like you said, I'm not the smartest motherfucker out here. I still make dumb mistakes. Yeah. And still, and, and it's like, I kind of know it might be bad, but fuck it, let's run. <laughs> let, let, <laughs> let's let's still do it. Let, let's see what happens. But for you, whatever fuck-up you have, whatever fuck-up you do, whatever you go through, it transitions into your music. Yeah. Like, you, you have a story to tell, and that's why, like, everything you've been going through. So when, when I say a life-changing moment, it's a moment in your life up until, say, 22, right, mm-hmm. that you lived through it and you were just not the same anymore. Oh, then, yeah, I'd have to say, like, me losing my homie Ruben, uh, which is what the song Lois is about. You know what I'm saying? So when I went to continuation school, I met this fool. And then, um, you know, like, best friend type shit. Like, you, you know that guy, you go to school, and then immediately you see him cracking. You, you sit down at the table, chill, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like motherfuckers knew, like, that's my guy, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. And when I lost the homie, it's like, that was probably, like, the first, like, friend-wise, like, major shit that I lost. You get what I'm saying? Because, like, yeah, but I lost my cousins before, you feel me? I lost, I lost a bunch of people before, but it's not like, like, fool, I was with this fool every single day of my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, 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 it was weird as fuck. Damn. Yeah. And what, how old were you when, when that happened? Like 18. And the homie had just turned 18. Damn. So the homie just turned 18, and I think a little bit after that he had passed. See, that's, you just never know, bro. Yeah, no, you, you never know. know. Oh, and and that that's like the, I mean, that's, that's the shit about life. And what you said right now is perfect because I think we've all lost family members second family members and we're kind of like oh pay our respects but when we lose somebody in that mm, circle that like you know you're in the gutter with or you're in life with mm-hmm. it's different yeah that shit was a fucking trip dude i'm not even going so lie. do you do you maneuver different uh in the sense of what like oh, life. oh telling people i love them more and shit like that i mean yeah but like like there are certain people i could ties with and if they die, I'd be so sad, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I will never apologize to no bitch, no guy, whatever, you know what I'm saying? If you need to hit my line, this is my number. You need to get on my number, apologize, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, bro, come on, I'm a grown man, too. Like, But I'm not I'm not out here cutting motherfuckers off because they forgot to say happy birthday or some shit, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's <laughs> it's like major shit, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, like, small shit, like funny shit yeah. that you peep. And, like, I'm the type of guy, like, I peep shit, but I won't even tell you about it. Cause it's like for what? For you did that, didn't you? You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. you're you you made your own actions, you did what you did. Fact. Deal with that. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm gonna have to deal with that too. People people don't want the responsibility of their own actions. They suffer when they get the repercussion of what they just did. And once that happens, they're just like, Man, I didn't know you did know. Then motherfuckers be so confused. Yeah, like what? Just Are you serious? About, like, bro, you know. You cheated. You know? I I know I cheated on you, but I still love what? <laughs> He had to bring that one up, bro. He had this to bring was, that one up. I know this is <laughs> true. Bro. bro. He had to bring that one up, bro. Didn't do you have a story for us to tell? Is that why you're saying this? Nah, I forgive no matter what. Sai. <laughs> <laughs> why do you forgive though? I don't. Mm, why don't you forgive? Cause fuck him. Nah, nah, nah. I'm fucking with you. That, I just sounded hella cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just cut that part off, story, making it cool. I be forgiving motherfuckers all the time. Yeah. Because like Ain't life too short bro That's Anyone could die at any moment I don't want to be like Damn I'm on bad terms with bro Yeah So now with You roll with A big friend group Sort of big right Kind of Five six I don't think Hey Ray You think I roll with a big friend group bro It's pretty small Five, five, six, right? It's like four. It's like four, like five main, main people, and then the rest are my, my they're, they're the mains too, but they just don't come around often. You get what I'm saying? Like it'd be me, Duno, the homie Peasy, the homie Denner, the homie Deep Poet. And the reason Duno is bringing me along is because, like, you feel me? I'm like his artist. You get what I'm saying? I need, I need to maneuver. I need to network. I need to start doing shit. He's just my guys. They always with us. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's not like we're walking into a party and we're like fifty fucking deep and we're like, ah, like nah. I'm just I somehow get in there too. <laughs> This is one of those like, hey, what's up? I'm here. So maneuvering because everybody sees. <laughs> did he? 
<laughs> we're just gonna like, ignore that right now. <laughs> that was insane. He was a okay. I get to you. Are we gonna I'm ignore just saying, that? Right now? Like, he did that shit and he just straight <laughs> went over that. That was insane to me right now. Grown ass man. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, the fact that he went back to he's like, are we gonna ignore that? Like, that was crazy <laughs> though. Am I tripping? You were in ROTC in high school, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo. Nah. So I hated seeing those who's in high hey, school. Hey, I graduated with honors. I'm chilling. That doesn't mean that you couldn't be in ROTC. Bro, I wasn't. Never did. be snitching if you're two minutes late, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For extra points? Hell yeah. Facts. <laughs> hey, got to be an overachiever sometimes, didn't it? Damn. Can we go back? <laughs> can, we, can we go back to the program? Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Being around a, a person like Duno, that is in obviously probably one of the biggest influencers, social media right now, TikTok, Instagram, mm-hmm. YouTube, uh, podcasting. What does that do for you? Being being surrounded by that type of person that maneuvers that way, that's in everything. To be honest, it's mad humbling because like, you see how big he got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bro, this guy still kicks with people he knew since he was like four years old. And I'm not saying obviously people change or whatever, whatever, but I'm saying that his caliber, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like people expect you to change. You know what I'm saying? X. Like, oh, man, this guy's going to forget about everybody. This guy's going to, you know what I'm saying? Bro, last time I remember we went to uh, the Sani Alleys with this fool, and he seen some dude that he was locked up with. Bro, they talked for like an hour. And I was like, damn, son. I was like, bro, how do you know? But he was like, yeah, I was locked up with him. Just talking, bro. And that's the, it's the humble shit. Like, bro, like, I look up to bro a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like, you know, bro. You know what I'm saying? You see how he moves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you think people his caliber move like that? Fuck no. No. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Chip it, on their shoulder. Who the fuck are you? You know what nah. I'm saying? Like, they, walking there, in, you know what I'm saying? Like, there was, there was one, there was one video he posted and I'm, I'm glad now it it came to my head that he was talking about, like, being invited to these big celebrity events, social media events. Yeah. They don't invite him, but it's, like, for him, it's, like, he's not – just because it's this type of caliber party doesn't mean he's going to forget his people, his friends. No, yeah, no, never, never. But yet again, you can't just bring, like – all yeah. your fucking homies to like you got know what I'm saying. <laughs> can't you? You can't bring everybody. Yeah, but you can bring some. Because mm-hmm. he said it himself in that podcast that there are some people that I can't bring to certain events because it's just not in their realm. Like they won't know how to act. Mm. And I I do believe you got to be a, surrounded about the right people. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I feel like the people that I'm surrounded with, are even the homies that I kick with day to day, and like. Everyone I know that I hang out with wants to see me win. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, 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 they're like, oh, this guy can't lose. It's not an option. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, because if he loses, I lose. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, if I take a loss, bro, all my homies take a loss. But if I fucking win, everybody wins. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's like a real, like, unish. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like, yeah. that shit is, like, lovely as fuck, dude. You're, you're young, and you're talking in a way that, Somebody older would talk about. If I watch a lot of movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like gangster shit. Yeah. <laughs> what, what movie? What, what were we talking about? Like my big brother, he was big on like greaser movies back in the day. So have you ever have you ever seen the movie The Wanderers? No. No, nah, I haven't. Crazy. I should have so player. Like Bronx Tale? Yes. Of course, you know what I'm saying? See how the motherfuckers move like a unit? And I'm not a gangster name. I'm the even I'm just I'm just a singing dude. But like, <laughs> I don't know. I'd be saying funny shit. That was funny. Huh? That was funny. <laughs> He's like, that was funny. Huh? Now, but you talk, you talk from experience, and you talk with with such like a tone, like, hey, if I win, everybody wins. Yeah. If yeah. I lose, everybody loses, and that's the type of that's the type of team that I want. If I'm willing to give everything for this. I hope that the people around me are the same way, because mm-hmm. it's not easy being being in the industry, being in whatever you're doing. It's bro, not easy. I didn't expect shit to move this fast. You feel me, I, bro? I'm like, what the? F-? You feel me? But then again, it's like, 
I brought soak up so much game from my manager Cali, from like Duno, from like Cypress, from any everybody. Like they see me and they go, "Damn, I want to see this guy win." Yeah. And then the industry is like, "Come on, people don't support people." You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah. "Fuck you, I'm trying to go up." Nah, that, I think that's yeah. one of the most mis misinterpreted things that a lot of people have that because say I'm gonna become a singer, oh I'm gonna get love from everybody. That's not the case, bro. And it'll be the dude that like. Probably from your same city, from your same neighborhood, you went to elementary school with or some. Man, fuck this guy. This guy's a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? Like just talking all that crazy shit. And it doesn't happen until you actually made some noise, it, bro. You know how many hit ups I get talking about like just straight dumb ignorant shit towards me, bro. This guy told me he wanted to shoot me if I hopped on another song with uh, this one rapper dude, and I was like, what, fool? Delete. I don't fuck about these grown ass men. Start a family. What are you doing? <laughs> Move out of your mama's house. Yeah, straight up. It's like, I don't understand. But yet again, if like, if people were to hit me on some shit like, hey, bro, I'm trying to work. Like, can you help me out? Come on, for what, what you need. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. build. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's that's the thing. And I think it comes back to your background, your family. Yeah, 100%. How you grew up. It's like, well, my, my family is, it's, well, my parents are immigrants, obviously. And they only had each other once they came here. So it's like, when they needed help, the only person that would help them out is just close family that we have there. So it's like, if I want to get out of here or I want to grow, can you help me out? Mm -hmm. And family is the only one that would help you out at that, that point. There's sometimes that family doesn't help you out. Family's the one that gives you your well, back. That's a lot of times, bro. But usually the Hispanics are like, okay, you know, we got you. This and yeah, that. but those guys help fucking anybody, bro, which is and something I soaked up. So, I, bro, you, you see my friend group. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I'm the only fucking Indonesian in, like, the tri-state area. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I kick with straight Rasa and, like, not regular Mexicans, like, Mexican Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they'll build you a house like, in real, 10 real minutes. Ra that was racist as fuck. <laughs> That's insane hey, hey, with don't, this don't, one. Don't hey. tell me twice, bro. I'll carry that some That was crazy. We are the working. hardest workers out there. Have you heard, you know, Andrew Schultz was like, yeah, man, everyone's talking about these Egyptian pyramids, and they was like, man, aliens built it, this and this, and then they were talking about the Mexican pyramids, and they were like, nah, we know these motherfuckers did it for sure, you know what I'm saying? I was out there holding ass, bro, I was like, let's go. They work in groups, bro. Yes, and, and and it goes back to that same thing, working in a unit, you can't, you cannot, if you're working, a, bro, there's, there's a lot of things, you cannot be the one driving, working on, you cannot be the only person. You can everybody, only do everybody got a role. Yeah, yeah, everybody. In my group, every single person has a role. Obviously, Duno coordinates everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm the artist. My homie D Poet's like a barber. And the homie uh sorry. I had a little burp. The homie PZ and Denner, they have their own clothing brand, none of some shout out none of some. And like you feel me? Bro, all we want to do is help each other and see each other win. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. This, is, this is the you what y'all doing. Yeah. You like, get what I'm literally, saying? literally I can't believe bro got behind the camera. Me either. Uh, in front of the camera, my fault. You know what I'm saying? Bro was always behind. And like, you feel me? I usually I was in the background, it, like always. It's so. because it's one of those things that, how you said, if I'm winning, why can't you win with me? True. Yeah. I want you to win the same. And I could have been on some ignorant stuff. Yeah. Nah, bro, you know what? Just stay with the camera. You know, it's going to be probably too much. Bro, every single person that's my homie. Bro, Ray, Ray was over here in his fucking house, chilling. And then I'm like, hey, fool, you want to take me to interviews? Fuck yeah, fool, let's go. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I brought all my homies want to like see me win and they want to help me out. Let's do something, fool. Like, what you doing on your ass? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, like, and I feel like if you don't have, it's cool to have homies that you kick it with. Smoke, drink, whatever. Do whatever the fuck you want. But, fool, if you're only doing that, come on, dog. True. That, How the fuck you finna grow, dog? This ain't high school no more, fool. Nah, there, there is there's always a time to have fun, party, mess up, do whatever. Have those one night. Crazy nights with your friends, like shit, man, that was crazy. But when you go back to Monday, and that's the same shit you're still talking about, and you're not working, like, yo, this, yo, tomorrow we gotta do this, we gotta put this out. Like yesterday, me, and, me and him were we were on live TikTok live, we're like, yo, just go for an hour, chill it. <laughs> wait, hold on. I don't know <laughs> why I'm not. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, wait, what's going on? Right. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go again. <laughs> <laughs> get it out, bro. Get it out. I don't want to. <laughs> all right. All right. Go.
Go ahead. I don't know why that was so funny to me, bro. I was tripping out. Well, you were on TikTok Live for an hour? No. no. We were supposed to. We what went the for fuck it. were you going to do for an hour? We went three we hours. Shit in three hours. No. Yes. What we did went. you do? Uh, Shit, right, we, we fucking ate Jack in the Box, Jack in the drank bus. Happy Dads. We drank, we danced. Played music. Played some music. You danced? Oh, fuck, I danced like a month. Like, hell yeah. Okay. I'm going to get to know bro today. His, his, uh, his fans were like, yo, get up, show us the three-quarter shorts. You got hella fans? I don't have fans, no. <laughs> he does. I don't have fans. This for <laughs> He's like this. Look at the haircut. This is why. I see it. Enrique Iglesias in his bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this was a legend. He's, but, uh, he's smooth. I was, he's I was smooth. wearing some. I usually well, I have pretty big legs. That's why I don't wear fucking pants. <laughs> I wear shorts like fucking. They're normal shorts, but they're, they're like short as fuck on me. And I got up to get a beer yesterday. Whoa. And Food. They also we know what Whoa. shorts you wear, Fu. <laughs> we know what you wear the you frat boy shorts, yeah? <laughs> he wears the Speedo shorts. Actually, no, I actually buy them at Target. Target has a good Target, shirt. baby. Target, look at that. Right here, black shirt. We're good. All right, yeah, let's get back on track. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck y'all are on. <laughs> My guy wild and that's why. Shit, what? <laughs> I don't even know where the fuck we left off. Nah, we, we talk about just, like, uh, opportunities and being around yeah. friends. Like, wanting to win. If you don't want to win, you don't want to add a amount to anything in life and be somebody get the fuck out of here yeah if you don't have a goal right if you don't have a goal aspiration like i and if you don't you can have a goal but if you don't have action behind it and you just sit in that same fucking spot and complaining about what your situation is and you don't want to change it bro i I gotta go i'm sorry i gotta move on yeah i know this is how i lost a lot of homies after high school because i was like damn but like you know one of my best friends andy like he was maneuvering different. Now this fool's like, he works at like some big ass company in Irvine, you feel me? But like, he was always on his shit. And I remember he was, he would be the only friend to be like, hey fool, like, what you on? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on bro, we can't like, step up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And like, I had, and then I had homies that's like, what's up, we drink up. Fool again? <laughs> I'm with it, but like again, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, a Tuesday, dog. <laughs> yeah, not in, like even now when they ask, "Yo, what are you doing this?" Well, we gotta do this. Oh, well, we have a party. Okay, well, no, no, but it's totally understandable. Like, bro, me and my homies, you see, bro, we party the fuck up. But you get to work first, well, though. You get your shit done exactly, and bro. and capitalizing off content, though. Yeah, your lifestyle and what you guys do is still content. True. That's what I told him. I was like, "Yo." What we do, yes, it's fun, everything, but yo, let's capitalize. We're yeah. out here. Let's make content. Let, we could let, be having fun and making shit. But I mean, that's everything. why this who do know he legit, like, bro, it's like the blueprint. You get what I'm saying? Like, And, like, that's why I admire bro so much because, like, bro, all he wants to do is put people on. Facts. All right. That's, yeah, that's some shit that you be doing. You know, you're like, hey, man, let's win. You get what I'm saying? That's why when I met you, bro, we was food. That's why I thought a chit chat was going to take. Two fucking seconds when we talk for 20 fucking minutes, bro. That, that's the thing. I always want to know what's, who are this you, what acting, do you do? He was asking great questions, oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah, this motherfucker would dig in there, His brain is insane, dog. Yeah, behind the yeah. camera, appreciate you, my guy. Just make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Show me love. Comment. Comment mm-hmm. the fits. Comment. Oh, do we just, do we start? Yeah, we yeah, all know. Okay. So we got that. Uh, we got that. We got this. Get the fuck. <laughs> He's, like, the, he's like, get the fuck. Man, let's yeah. let's get into the music, man. The, the world knows you, Jakarta Slim, putting out music, putting out some good ass bangers, and and you've had music even with Duno. You've had music with Cypress Moreno. Like, how does how does music play in your life? How did that come about? All right, so I I had um, recorded like a few like two songs maybe before I had met Duno, right? Mm-hmm. And then this food was like. A, Hey, fool, those shits were dog shit. And I'm like, for real, bro? And he's like, yeah, bro, they were horrible, but fool, like, fool, you can make way harder shit. Uh, fuck them, by the way. Like, I think those songs were hard. <laughs> but um, this fool, like, like he, all right, so he invited me and a bunch of other dudes to the studio, right? And this was already, I kicked over him a few times, but we wasn't boys. Yet, you get what I'm saying? Like, and then what? We all go to the studio, and then the next day, he only brings me. I was like, hey, fool, like, man, I think, like, you know, I, I think you have a lot of talent, you know, like, and 
he wasn't even up like that yet. He was probably like, what, like 30K, 40K. Compared to what he is now, it's totally different. Yeah, you know yeah, totally. Saying? So, like, he took a chance on me. And, like, man, that's like, Foo, you're, you're establishing yourself, but you're still like, hey, Foo, like, let me help you out. Because yeah. a lot of people, they don't like to help people out, bro. And it's not even a handout. It was more like, let's win together type shit. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, I... I took advantage of that, so then uh, we we made that whole tape, and then he invited Cypress in one of those days, and I met Cypress. Bro, I was nervous as fuck when I met Cypress, because, bro, you know, you from L.A., you know, you listen yeah. to rap, you yeah. Cypress. You, you say the name. You feel me? You know it. And, like, this fool's over here in the, in the stew, and I'm in the booth, and my homie Mixed by Marv, shout out my guy. Um, he's actually the guy that recorded Lois. Um... So he's, it's only me and him that can hear each other. And I'm like, hey, foo, kind of fucking nervous, foo. And then, but my homie Marv is like most kind hearted person in the world. But this is like, he has little baby grand, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the boys, and he's like, hey, bro, I'm gonna help you out. Like, let's do it together. Um, And then, like, yeah, I started hopping into it, but music has been like probably one of the most, Man, major roles in my life. Like yeah. back in the day, my big brother, like my big brother is the is the reason I got into music. He put me on all my music. Bro, I used to listen to all time low, Fall Out Boy, and shit like that, straight up. And I still do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But like, female bitches. So, you know, but like, so what? What is music? What did it do for you? Why? What is when you listen to your music or another artist? And you're in the zone. What? It, what's your mentality? What's your like? What do you go through? I feel like it's purpose. It gave me purpose, bro. It gave me something to do with my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, if I wasn't doing music, I'd probably be a fucking bum. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe do a construction with my Mexican homies. <laughs> Yo. Hey. hey. That was a jab? <laughs> that was a jab. It's not good. I went one day with these fools? <laughs> Never fucking again, bro. Flip it, Oscar. You want to do uh, some plumbing? Flip that right there? Yeah, yeah. Some plumbing. Other way. Sure. My way. Other way. Nah, oh, fuck no, bro. <laughs> He's like, there fuck it is. no. I'm not a labor guy, bro. As big as I am, I don't do labor, bro. Sorry, as a laborer, bro. It, we're, everybody's gifted. Like, I, I truly believe this, bro. Everybody is gifted in their own way that it may not be the next person's. And the next person can't be mad that I'm not the same as you because I am me. 100%, but yet again, I'm just a lazy fuck. It's, oh yeah, me too. Like, hey, can do you know how to change oil? No, I know how to pay someone to do my oil change. I don't even drive, bro. Whenever, like every like, every bitch, like, fuck, like, every dog. bitch that I had, like she always had to have a car, and like she, I was passenger prince. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was holding the time and everything. Uh, hey, baby, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I, I always ran shit. Though. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. The bitch I, was driving. She'd be like, "Where are we going?" And I'm like, "Exactly." So what's who? Your Mount Rushmore of music, top five. That's four people, right? Yeah, four. Oh, yeah, Sorry, four I said yeah. five. No, my man. Let's do five. Fuck it. All right, Big L, uh -huh. P and B Rock, mm. ASAP Rocky. Mm. Um, let's see what else do I listen. There's three. To? No, we're at three right now. You have three. three. Probably. Uh, Six nine. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> um, for show sure, like uh, man, this one guy named Ashton Matthews. He was like a big influence, uh, not music wise, but I just loved hearing his music. And uh, Flatbush Zombies. All right, all right. But oh. you see how my music doesn't translate to none of that? Yeah, no, no. That's Except like P and B rock. Yeah. Yeah, that's man. That, that's a totally for anybody listening. I'm sure they're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" What really? the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Damn, I thought you were gonna go like underground. I thought you were gonna go like this top, but it's what makes you. So, you in music? How did your family? All right. So in the religion of Islam, like, um, yes, music is a big no no, and it's different because my father is the leader of my community and the leader of my mosque. So the Indonesian community in Los Angeles. My dad runs that shit. You know what I'm saying? He's a little like, anybody got anything they need, or hit him up, pops. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
at first it was like, what the fuck? You get what I'm saying? Because like, oh, my dad's leader of the mosque. And then you'll see videos of me on YouTube smacking strippers' asses. And shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I shit don't go hand in hand. They don't. But then once they seen like I was really like for real, for real about it. And like my mom, like she's very open. She's a loving mother. You get what I'm saying? Like she's like, she's like, man, like all I want you to do is go to school, but fuck, I'm gonna give you some time on this. If she don't crack, go to school. You know what I'm saying? But um, for right now, they're actually very, very, very supportive. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah crazy. Yeah. Like when I made the lowest song about my homie Ruben, my parents knew of Ruben. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And like, when he, when the homie passed, they had sent letters <clears throat> to people like parents, you know, like, oh, sorry for the law, you know what I'm saying? My parents are tripping now and they seem like, shit, damn, this was getting different, you know what I'm saying? And like, music was like a real huge escape, bro. Because I met Duno when Duno was like, probably one of his like lowest points. And when I was at my lowest point, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like he. I'm not saying he dealt with it better, but I feel like he had more experience with it. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So then yeah. once he gave me music, well, I already had music, but once he gave, he really gave me a path, like, foo, the shit is beautiful, bro. It meant something to you. Because you, sure. you had someone that, how you said, gave you an opportunity when he didn't need to. Mm -hmm. Gave you a option when, he, in reality, as fucked up as it sounds, we don't owe nobody nothing. Not one fucking person. Nobody. Except your parents. Except actually. my parents. Yeah. But True. anybody else, girlfriends, friends, whatever, I don't owe you anything. Started on girlfriends. Hey. Huh? Nothing. Huh? <laughs> huh? But no, 100%, you don't owe nobody nothing, right? But I mean, like, for someone to take a chance on you, could you disappoint? Especially a, mm -hmm. especially a man giving another man an opportunity to never, win. Never, never hear about some shit like that. Man, never. guys right now, they have undercover animosity. You get what I'm saying? Like, Oof. Bro, I hate walking in the studios and motherfuckers be like, bro, I don't gangbang. Calm the fuck down, bro. Like, I'm here to sing. Yeah. Not even rapping. Bro, I'm a singer. <laughs> Why the fuck are you pressed? Yeah, like what? It, it's a... It's a... It's a man thing. It's a man thing. It's when you feel thing. like you're going to get challenged, you, oh, get defensive. Nah, nah, bro. We're, we're all about love. That's how we said earlier. Like, we're one of those dudes that when we walk in, yo, let's embrace everybody. We're cool. Chilling. So just, when I when I went to can, go ahead. No, my bad. I was just gonna say, just some people when they step into a room, they want to be alpha, and you know, it's true. It's, it's like, bro, when someone new steps into the room, like, oh shit, let me show this fool sub, you know? Yeah. And they, I never understood that though. Me either. It, it's weird. It's kind of sus, huh? Yeah, it's, it's weird. A little sus, like, but I why mean, you press? Because I'm here. Like, I want to show this guy I'm more manlier than bro. Yeah. <laughs> what are you on, bro? Like, like for real, brother? What are you? But Are you serious right now? That's that's, that's some internal thing, issues right there, buddy. And like, do you have your father's love, your mom's <laughs> love? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Sometimes that's what happens. Something's going on at home, <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's pressed. Like, nah, nah. But I for sure like. But yet again, I've met. I've, <laughs> Something's going on at home. But now I've met. I've met like big rapper dudes that were gangbangers, and they were just hella dope. Like Rucci, when I met Rucci, bro, dope oh. as fuck. Cool as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, roast, I doing? roast them back. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, but, like, I've been around certain dudes that were like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, yeah, like, that shit, shut the fuck up. Yeah, bro, don't even say nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, bro, before you even start, anything comes out of your mouth, just stop. It's energy, though, right? Tell it me, is, Tell bro. me, like, when you walk into a room, you can feel. Oh, yeah, yeah, so bro. that's why well, one of openly Muslim um, Artist that I love. Why did this just say openly Muslim? Like, it was a sexuality. No. <laughs> like, this shit was a secret. You can't do this. You can't. This was openly Muslim. <laughs> Most people hide it. Like, what <laughs> the Most fuck? people hide it. <laughs> Kevin Gates. He did not hide that shit? No. I said, he's one of the dudes that, in his music, talks about everything. Nah, he's on some other shit, though. He, I don't know. Energy. He talks about the religion. He talks a lot of shit, right? Bro, his last song is like, put dick up in your stomach. <laughs> put dick up. Like, for what the fuck? Are you saying, <laughs> I can't make music like that. My mother listens to my shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the other part, right? Because there's some fools that don't give a shit. 
There's some fools that because yeah, I admire people like that. Yeah, there's there's fools that like I know my mom watches this, so if I know if I act out of, she's gonna Character. be like, hey, um, so let's talk about this real quick. Mm-hmm. My so dad what? watches this while he like, he just puts that shit on, he showers, and he just listens to that shit. Yeah, so he's like, like the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, what the hell? And That's then, fire though. Yeah, my like, mom just like randomly, she's like, yo, look, and she shows me her phone. She's on Facebook. We're on Facebook too, by the way. Wow. And she's like, yo, look, you're here. Quick little advertisement right there. Yeah, Quick little yeah, yeah, Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook also. Know, by the way, I don't use Facebook. <laughs> yeah, you so. do. I don't. Yeah, do. I really don't. He uses his WhatsApp. name was Dylan Lokes. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. Obey Dylan. Stop, foo. Dylan Lokes. <laughs> yo. Yo, that was the Instagram name. Add, add, add me in his WhatsApp. <laughs> I use WhatsApp to talk to like, my cousins in Indonesia. I should use WhatsApp to, to communicate. But that's like an international thing. Like, I'm not about to hit a bitch like, hey, come hit my WhatsApp. No, there, oh, there's there's an un, unwritten rule that if your girl goes to Mexico, she comes back with the WhatsApp app. Or you're fucked. You're fucked. You don't got a girl no more, Dude, bro. No. She's <laughs> international. She was never yours, brother. <laughs> she was fucking Enrique's. <laughs> Straight the fuck up. Have you seen our video where the dude, he had brought like a whole group out to like a girl's house and they were playing this love song. And then a guy walks out the crib and he's like. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I seen that one. Boom, fucking your bitch. That was sad. Like if that shit would ever happen to me, like. I, mean, I don't know, fool. So now you're you're going into a topic that we got to bring up. We're going to have to bring up. There's no way out of this now. Bro. There's no way out of this now. <laughs> Does Jakarta ready. believe in love? Hell Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's bro, right. Bro, if you don't believe in love, what are we doing it for, man? I love that. Come love on, that. bro. Love is everything, dog. Bro, I can't I can't leave my homies without saying I love you all the time. Motherfuckers think I'm weird, but I'll be like, I love you. Oh yeah. Straight up, fool. I tell this motherfucker I love every single yeah, time, bro. Same time. You're sus though. <laughs> nah, not like that, yo. <laughs> Enrique is I sus. love you, Louise. <laughs> no, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, yo, yo. That was eye contact and everything, yo. So I was acting like you. No, no, hell no. Nah. Now nah, I'll be like, I'll be like, all right, peace out, man. I love you. Peace out. Yeah, easier or like or like when my homies drop me off, I'll be like, cause I don't drive, obviously. <laughs> I'm like, hey, fool, text me when you home. And if they don't text me, I'll call them. Hey, fool, you home? Cause God forbid. Yeah, some jobs they don't get home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do, you just never know. But I mean that if you're the true homies, true friends, that's that's a given. Especially now where we're at, it's how he said, "Yo, quick dab, yo, love you, bro. Take care. See you soon." Yeah, that Fuduno was like, "Hey, fool, why you keep telling people you love them?" And I was like, "Fool, because I do." And he was like, "Fool, my friends know I love them too. I just don't be saying it all the time." And I'm just like, "Okay." Well, that's you. you know? Yeah, fool, fool. I can't. Well, whenever I see, I tell my mom I love her every day. Yeah, um, and my dad, I kissed that fool on the forehead. I love you. <laughs> Straight up, what's my How father? Short is he? What the... Huh? How short is he? Kiss him on the forehead. My dad's like, <laughs> is he starting with me right now? D D Lokes. D Lokes. <laughs> oh, they did. No, my my dad's <laughs> <laughs> Supreme Dylan. <laughs> Supreme Dylan. No, my dad's probably like a five, shit, six, five, six. Oh, dude. Yeah, my mom's sure. probably like five, eight, but my grandfather was like six, six, six. six. Oh, oh, so Pass yeah. down, pass down. Yeah, it, it, it's not a weird thing, bro, because when you really, how you said, day tomorrow, God forbid, something happens, you at least in your heart say, why are you laughing? <laughs> I just, I had to continue laughing. And like, I you used to shuffle, huh? <laughs> bro, Keep you see player. Me? Topping the Hell roaches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have all that YouTube channel Free, and make shit. Me, you make me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Can we get let's, back there? Let's get bro back behind the camera. No, <laughs> Dylan, no, your microphone's unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> but now, for real, like, now just the day and age. If you're in, in your close circle, I think that's one of the mandatory things because... God forbid something happens. What's the one rule that everybody has? Man, I wish I would have told him. I wish I would have told him I love him or I miss him or I hug him. Yeah, like when my homie, rest in peace, um, passed away, I didn't talk to him for like a week. I think we had like a little argument. Nobody knows about this. This is just my first time saying it. And like, I didn't feel no, like, damn, fuck, that sucks. Because for me, my homie used to get in arguments over dumb shit. Food sports. 
like, I'd see this one, I go, fuck you. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, I mean, I'm used to like, you know, but it sucks because it's like, damn, but I know the love was there too. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, if I'm just a loving person, like every time, like in any situation, bro, I put all my cards on the table. But that's some stupid shit that I do for, like, I'll be thinking bitches is high school musical. You get what I'm saying? Troy Bolton, Vanessa, like, where you at, babe? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> living in my own world. Like, dead ass. Damn. Didn't understand how anything could happen. And then she comes in. I never can see that. <laughs> bro, that shit was hard, bro. Like, bro all I want to do is watch Halloween Town with a bitch. <laughs> In in her bed, because she can't come to my house. <laughs> Keep it play. We're Muslim, bitch. You know what I'm saying? We don't play that. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, bro, I never had a bitch meet my mother in my life. Oh, never? Crap. Hell no. Do you believe in love with, like, in relationships? What the fuck type of question was that? <laughs> it's a good question. Well, because yeah. you well, just said. Are you trying to avoid you, it or what? No, because you just said you never let, like, your mom meet anybody. Bro, the last relationship I was in was in middle school. That's right. But I've had like I've had I've fucked with girls for like a minute, but I've never asked them out. Cause fool, I'm. Are you scared of commitment? I don't think so. I'm scared of getting hurt. Okay. Oh, you know oh, that's right, that's right. I'll dab you up for that one. Form sense. I'll dab you up for that one. That's it. You, I, hey, you, I got you. I got you. I got you. That's crazy. Yeah, I, right. we in the I'm same boat. Let's go. We're if you can't let boat. a bitch dictate your life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got you, bro. I brought a girl. My bigger brother was my bigger brother was a pimp, bro. I grew up when I was growing up. My bigger brother was a pimp, bro. Like I remember, I had to walk bitches outside of my house, like the baddest bitches I seen in my life. Jeez. So we just do whatever and I walk this bitch out. I'm like, fool, you can't even no common courtesy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At least open the door for me. Like, yeah, but, but but now he found a wife. You know, he 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 well, not a wife. You know what I'm he had a girlfriend that's locked in. She's super cool and shit. But like, I don't know, fool. Like letting a person dictate how you how you make your actions doesn't that kind of sound weird? Yeah, it sounds a little weird. Well, it's different because who the fuck am I even talking? <laughs> this was a whole ass family. <laughs> this was like, yo. How long you been with your girl? Damn, we have four years. You feel me? I think the longest I've been with a bitch was probably like four weeks. Watch your fucking mouth. Like, why are you <laughs> laughing, dog? I'm on you too, nigga. What the fuck? CR6. <laughs> that was crazy, man. Yo, what the fuck? I'm going to have to go to the restroom. Man. God, chill. <laughs> CR6. That was good. That was good. Thank you. He said thank you. He said thank you. For anybody watching, just know this is not our regular emotional podcast. <laughs> for I told this food too. For I was like, hey, dog, like, we could get into it, but like. Don't be trying to make me cry and shit. Fool. Uh, that's weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I knew I knew I was gonna maneuver correctly. Nah, we're maneuvering oh, okay. perfectly. Like, this is just this is just the way things is. This is homies talking with homies, friends talking with friends. Like, your six is crazy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know never where, heard that one. No, I don't know where you come up with that. I've never heard that. <laughs> Enrique, relax. Perdón, perdón, perdón. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cold one. You called him that. I know. Don't blame me now. <laughs> it's kind of funny because we're all the same uh, skin tone here, so. There we are. We are, so. <laughs> no, they a don't weird thing that. to say. Hey. Bringing <laughs> colorism <laughs> into the fucking mix. What's up with, bro? Um, oh, fuck. Trying to step out of that. Damn, for some reason your cable got fucked up, didn't it? Oh, shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's keep on track. Let's keep on track. Alright, no more jokes. No Alright, let, let's know we're back. Let's know we're back. It's gonna be the first one to make it. Music, back. relationships. Yeah. There was a question I did want to ask. What do you value more? Love or respect? And what within friends or just in general? General. Because I think the way you maneuver with friends is still with like Can someone love you and not respect you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Can you give me an example? Mm. It can it can go anywhere from relationships or your homies. Like I love this fool, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna pretend like I love him and I'm gonna do some foul shit still. Nah, then you don't love him. 
But I still love though they because I I was still riding with you. If you need me, I still got you. But then you're doing bro dirty. So that like that. That doesn't make sense. Really. So like that. Um. Damn, I feel like it's hand in hand though. Like if you love me, you gotta respect me too. You get what I'm saying? But like, I don't need nobody's respect, bro. Like keep a player. There's a lot of people that don't fuck with me already, bro. Not out here like, oh, please. Like you know what I'm saying? Eat yeah. a dick, food. Do your thing. I'm gonna do me. You know what I'm saying? And if 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 I know you real, I shouldn't I shouldn't ever have to question nothing. Why are you? <laughs> I'm not laughing. Bro, he was laughing. Get the fuck up, Diego. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I just need Dora. That's it. <laughs> Diego, he's saying the most fucked up. Mexican. Nah, bro, that's not even racist, bro. Like, look, bro, hanging out with Mexicans for <laughs> oh shit. A minute now, bro. You fools are, ho- <laughs> are ruthless. When it comes we to Rose, you have are. to understand, bro, my whole friend group is all Mexicans. Oh, shit. So who do you think is ganged up on the most? You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying the word. Oh, shit. I'm having this. <laughs> my microphone fucked up. It's you got to you gotta get back on fools, bro. You got to defend yourself. All right, so to stay on track, before we get off again, uh, loyalty... Or respect. Loyalty. <clears throat> but yet again, don't they go hand in hand? Uh, Do you respect really. me enough to stay loyal to me? Hmm. I mean, but like sort of like in an argument or something, you can lose respect for that person. <sighs> okay, like, actually, yeah, because I've cheated on bitches before. Like, <laughs> but like exactly at the end I'm of the saying, day, I'll be like, damn, I still love you so much. You know what I'm saying? There you go. There you go. Damn, yeah, you're right. Yeah, loyalty, because I would never want to get cheated on. That shit happened to me once in, like, that's right, that's right, high school, right. and that shit broke my heart. There's that there's that um, old school movie. Uh, I literally lost a train of thought, but would you rather be loved by everybody or feared by everybody? Loved? I don't know what that fear should do for people. Who the fuck do you think I am, bro, walking around like Al Capone? Like, bro, I'm a singer. But, uh, walk into the room, and everyone's like, who's bro? No, bro, love, you know what I'm saying? Let's be happy. Bro, I'm a passive, bro. I'm like the least problematic person in the world. Nah, I'm a fucking liar, bro. <laughs> like, nah. For so many issues, bro. <laughs> He's like, I so am, much I'm trauma. It's so insane, bro. Like sometimes, like, like I remember, I, like my last bitch, I, bro. I would just start arguing for fun on some shit, bro. Like, on some girl shit. Cause he wanted to. Yeah, I need affection. I do. Weird affection, but like I'm not the type of guy that wasn't loved by his mother. Like my mother loves me. We have a good relationship, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a, I'm just a dumbass. Mm, you keep <sighs> not a dumbass. You can't say that. It is just... okay. So calm down. It's not like I'm putting myself down. Super. You are, bro. Don't do that to yourself. Don't put yourself down. Oh, shit. <laughs> My fucking fault, fool. <laughs> Imagine this was over here being emo as fuck. Like, <laughs> nah, bro. I know the shit I do in my life. I'm, a, I'm a dumbass, bro. I'm just one of the cool ones. This is when I fuck up, I do it in the, in the cool style. When Not I the devil. Up, I fuck up good. You know? That's the good thing. <laughs> Work, working with Cypress Moreno, what has that done to your life? <clears throat> um, the homie Cypress, like my big brother, man, he showed me a lot of doors. And, like, he put, like, Cypress is the type of guy, like, he'll bring my name up in a room where I'm not even in, not even a necessity to bring me up. You know what I'm saying? But he'll be like, oh, man. Let me fuck with the homie Jakarta. Because that's somebody that believes in me, too, bro. And, like, all he's done is legit, like, put me on game, show me shit, introduce me to people. And, like, you know, all around just be my guy. You know what I'm saying? And it's, like, it's crazy because you don't see a lot of that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But, like, that food, like, it's a real, real, he a real one for sure. Like, I've never, like. He's never done no weird shit, and I never expect him to because he's not like that. He's just a cool, let's work, money. You're you're surrounded by the right people now in your life. For sure. That 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 is a big flex, though, being around the right people in a certain time in your life where you are thriving and you know, and, like, all you can do from now is go up. And if you have the right people around you, that's just amazing. You see, but that's not right, though. Could, like, all you could do is go up, bro. You could go down any time, though. You get what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, 
but I have my, my homies check me constantly because, like, I like to do, like, like, yeah, party and whatever, right? That's the weekends, though. Nah, not for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm thugging it. Rah, rah, rah. I feel you have the biggest future. Why are you doing stupid shit all the time, bro? Like, we, uh, like, and it sucks because it's like, I'm not a fucking kid. But yet again, for sure, boy, you got to check, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm always on that, you know what I'm saying? But, like, now, like, I'm learning more, you know what I'm saying? And it's like maneuvering, you know what I'm saying? But it's still, it's hard, bro. Like, genuinely. You, you can't put yourself in a situation that's going to fuck up your bag, your exactly. opportunity. True. Because day tomorrow, this can just be gone, right? Like my like, life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like that, bro. And and it and it goes to that like that extent to like, oh, if if this was gone, social media, the game was gone. Who are you? Who is who is that person without your platform? <laughs> no, it wasn't Yo. even you. It wasn't even you. I just seen bro. But um, damn, I don't know. Food like now, I, I I see myself. I can't even get off my phone for like. You know what I'm saying? We're on it, bro. I mean, that's our life. Like, it's sad to say, but that that is where everything happens because you can reach millions of people in a push of a button. And people can reach you, and opportunities can be there. Mm -hmm. And then you can miss up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's doing this shit on purpose. I He's think. weird. <laughs> when, when you're alone, like, what do you see? That's like that someone would never imagine you would see. Like Frank Sinatra, like fly me to the moon and I let me it. play amongst the stars. Or like boys to men. Ooh. That would be loved. Oh. Nah, but see, that's how you know you're not a real fan. You know the song at the end of the road? It's, it's the end of the road. Still I, I can't let go. That was my mom's favorite band when she came to America. <laughs> oh shit! He hit that note. Let's go. Hey, hey, look at him. Look you, at him. you got it. They're, they're in there. The vocals are in there. You're like that's a little. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, fuck! It's so hard to keep track, bro. Like, I feel like you're doing this shit on purpose. Because <laughs> he went. It's in there. Come on, foo. There was ten million better ways to do that one. You know. <laughs> Oh, we gotta, we gotta do this for two minutes again. <laughs> we gotta do the whole thing again. Oh fuck! All right, all right. We try to stay on track, but what's one thing that your followers, your fans, your your friends, your people don't know really about you behind closed doors? I think a lot of people think I'm an asshole because, like, when I go on live on Instagram, like, you know how you get haters? you go on live. Whoa. You go on live? You, you went on live, live on Instagram? These fools went on TikTok live for three fucking hours. <laughs> you made fun of us. Okay, I went for 10 minutes for, <laughs> to promote my song. You know what I'm oh, saying? Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't over here like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, but not like, you know how fools be, be dissing and shit, like talking yeah. shit? Yeah, yeah. I'm a sensitive guy, bro, so like I don't take shit lightly. So I fuck you too, bro, you fat dumbass. Or I'll be like, ask your bitch about me. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and like, I don't even know their, their bitch. So I don't even know you personally. You know what I'm saying? But like, uh, yeah, so I think a lot of people think I'm a dickhead off based off my, I'm honestly like a super cool dude. I'm a feminist. <laughs> Wait, why was the little, there's a little smirk there? I don't know. What you laughing? What's that funny about women's rights? <laughs> what's funny about women's rights I, 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 Dylan you, right now what's funny about women's rights bro you tell, tell me, me right fucking now smirk. what's funny about women's rights bro there's nothing funny about it just so why are you laughing so why are you laughing <laughs> obey Dylan get the fuck out of here <laughs> obey bro. Dylan yo yo I forgot about that, that no no but genuinely I, I do think I'm a and honestly I think I'm you, you've had this conversation before. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm more than a feminist, fool, because I think women are hard. I have a mother, you know. I, I, but my mom wanted a, a daughter so bad, but, like, she got three boys, and then I was like, Mom, why don't you try for a daughter? And she goes, who's she going to be like? She's going to be like you. And I was like, damn, fool. <laughs> damn, that was a little harsh. Damn, what is that? That type of filter way, huh? <laughs> I was like, thanks, Mom. I was like, I hope not, though, you know what I'm saying? But, like, nah, 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 for sure. Like, women rule the world, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. 
Come on. Oh, we got to take that out. <laughs> we got to take that one out. Uh, Andrew Tate, baby. But, uh, Andrew Tate, baby. Andrew Tate. Oh, hey, hey, can I ask you, what do you think about Andrew Tate? You being a family man and everything. Ooh. And you have a daughter. Ooh. You have a daughter also, right? Yeah, I do. I do. So, so what do you think? Uh... He he has Dylan, a. Dylan, we'll get to you right now, bro. Don't even trip. <laughs> Don't even, even trip. Don't even fucking trip, bro. We're gonna get to you right now. Go ahead, bro. Get your answer ready. All right, go for it. Um, Just gonna make some bullshit. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now, nah, honestly, with with Andrew Tate, there's there's a lot of things that he he does say. Because there's another podcast. I don't know if you ran into it. Um, Fresh and Fit, the one from Miami. Yeah. So Duna had interviewed them on No Jumper. Yes. And I was there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, they're so one Muslim food and this, the other's the black dude. So the so they are like to me they're kind of like just similar because they No, nah, I think they're just out of pocket. They they speak a lot of shit that is just crazy, right? That for us to speak on here, to me it would be like, nah, bro, like I'm I'm not ready for that because that's a whole different genre, a whole different uh route that they want to go, but these fools are unfiltered. You know, I feel like they invite women to come over just so they could just straight be literal. But yet again, you see some of the women on there, bro. I need a man that's seven seven uh, million dollars a year. Uh, doesn't trip on what I wear. Bitch, shut up! What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Look at your father. <laughs> no, that was crazy. No, nah, nah, I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. But like, but like, but like, no, nah, no, nah, keep it player. Like, like. I feel like, you know, that whole red pill movement, I feel like it's kind of a necessity right now. Yeah. Just because, come on, bro, like, right now, men aren't men. True. You kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah. No, nah, I, I the, totally where, agree. Where's the masculinity at, bro? I totally agree, bro. Because there, there is, I've, I've met dudes or I've seen dudes. And this isn't oh, like a, a, this isn't like a gay like sexual thing it's not, nothing like that like, like nah, they, this is just oh, a real wow. talk bro and this is a conversation that i mean needs to happen regardless and needs to be told like, what are you gonna way. tell your kids bro keep a player damn on it like <laughs> how good was that question that was, good. I get that was cold huh that was fucking good so i wasn't even ready for that shit i'm not because i'm just like damn in his brain now but, damn um, to my son yo take care of your shit bro mm-hmm. what are like, you gonna tell your daughter my daughter, respect yourself. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. Res- 100 million percent. 100 million respect percent. your mom. Respect your dad. Respect, respect yourself. That's the biggest thing in the in the Islamic religion. It's like, you know how the women wear the hijab? Yeah, yeah. And it's a lot of outsiders, they think, oh, women are forced to, oh, they they can't. Say, Bro, my mom wears that shit every day. Not once in her life has my father told her, put that, you feel me? None of that. Like, whoa. You saw that? Fool, you're doing it too. <laughs> Yo, but he's, cause, it's because you stopped. The way you it's say it. It's because you stopped. The way, the way you say Women's it. rights? Muslims. The way you say it. We're you're on like, them. You're like, <laughs> boom, strike three, you're about to get canceled, dog. God. <laughs> Swear to you. Toast to life. You already brought, really brought up Andrew Tate, bro. Yeah, my deal. Fool, I mean, bro, I fuck with, bro, my cousin. She's like a super feminist. Like, she grew up in the valley. There's like stupid feminist, right? She had unfollowed me and blocked me on Instagram because I followed. No, no, stupid. Feminism. No, stupid as in like, like hella. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't. I, I, didn't, like, I didn't mean like she's a dumbass. A million other ways you could have said that. Whoa, she's quoting me. <laughs> Straight Andrew Tate shit. All right, but point is, she unfollowed me on Instagram. My cousin Nora, Nora, I love you. But like, she unfollowed me and I think she blocked me for a minute. She was, like, why do you follow Andrew Tate? You know what my answer was? This, man, this man's a world-renowned kickboxer, four-time champion. His father was the first grandmaster in chess, black grandmaster in chess. Your brother's brilliant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, well, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Do with anything else. He's like, he's just, it's that. It's that. He's it's a that. world-class chess player, bro. No, world-class no, kickboxer. kickboxer. A exactly. chess player also. He is correct. He is a chess player, too. I've never seen him play chess. Dylan, yeah. sh- shut that shit up, bro. Stop it. <laughs> Like, God, bro, she was always interrupting dudes. <laughs> That's why we can't stay on track because of this one. It wasn't even me. <laughs> no. Nah, fool, fuck that. Fool. All right, so tripping. when you have kids, what are you gonna tell them? So, all right, so this is my plan. Like, inshallah, you know, like God's willing, I, I get big, right? It's music shit, right? I want to go back to where I'm from in Indonesia, Jakarta, in my little neighborhood. It's called Krukut. I'm gonna give me a little. 
Arab because I'm Arab Indonesian. My ancestors came from Yemen and they moved to Indo. Why the fuck is that funny, bro? <laughs> I'm not laughing. Why the fuck is that funny, bro? Carlos Mencia looking motherfucker. <laughs> I'm done with dudes, bro. Stop fucking dissing, dude. <laughs> hey, this dude, this dude has the But no, but no, but no, no, no. For for for. All right, all right, all right. So when I go over there, I'm going to try to get a, you know, someone from my neighborhood cuz I want my kids like on the most realistic note, I want my kids to be like my father. Like they just my father's the greatest man I've ever met in my life. He busts his ass just to make the family happy. Bro, I've seen, bro, sleepless nights. You get what I'm saying? My dad used to be a janitor at the hotel. Now he's the manager of housekeeping. Oh, that's what's up. You get what I'm saying? And, like, bro's the definition of hard work, bro. So, like, I admire my father about that so much. And I want my kid. My dad's super religious and the leader of his community also. Like, bro, there are days my dad get, get off of work. And he goes to the mosque. He don't even come home. He go to the mosque, go pray. You know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. like, that's very admirable, bro. And, like, I love that shit. But, like, not nah, for sure. But, like, what, if I have kids... Go respect yourself, and if you if you a boy, hit her behind closed doors. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we'll take that one out. We'll take that one out. <laughs> hit her behind closed doors. behind closed doors, bro. It's okay. No, no, I'm fucking with you. No, 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 no. For sure, it's just like food, respect, respect, with, bro. This is how I view it, bro. Like, yeah, I do hella bitches dirt. <laughs> you can't do that. No, but like if I if he I said, really you know, but he if said I no, no, but if I really love somebody, like bro, I'm a lover, bro. Like every every girl that <laughs> fucking a, every girl that I have fucked with, bro. Like I've always put, I've always put all my cards on the table. I've, I've been with girls for a minute. Like, you, can we restart this? 15? <laughs> this is tough. You do this. Fucked up so bad. <laughs> nah, but like, but like I put, I'm a lover, bro. I be. I be See, this fool's fucking laughing still, foo. You're supposed to be coordinating shit, foo. Yo. I'm lost, bro. I'm lost. Okay. I just cut, bro. Okay. Cut. Hold on. Let me look the other way. Good. We're good. Actually. No, because I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> This is Jakarta Slim. He's a he's a singer. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jakarta Luis and my guy D Lynn had your bitch one time. I cannot. No, nah, no, nah, we gotta redo it because I, I can hit way better. I can't. Right, go, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Shut we the fuck up. Ask bro when I'm talking, bro. Raise your hand, bro. This is Dylan shops a hot topic. Still, <laughs> still. <laughs> Oh, fuck my stomach. Yeah, I got your picture. I'm coming with you, dear Maria. Count me in. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Hey, fuck. You know, to be honest, I've seen a lot of your interviews, and you, you always make it so sad. How does it feel like that I just changed up the whole dynamic of this shit? i never seen you laugh this much in your life. <laughs> Bro, we have it. Yeah. It's like, we... The, the thing about the podcast is, obviously, TikTok is just attention grabber. Two seconds, got to grab them. We're based off of that. That's, like, that's the bread and butter. But, like, we had, when we had Duno, there was funny-ass moments. Mm-hmm. When we had, but then it got I, really serious, too. When we had Angelito, funny moments and serious moments. We had Leo, Tony. There's always funny-ass moments. But... <laughs> What? What now? Bro, I just noticed we had like four seconds of serious shit in this whole interview. And I think the whole thing is just me talking, talking shit to Dill. <laughs> and me and you just roast him, bro. Like, keep it playing. No, not me, you. Ah, uh, fool, you said some shit too. No, I didn't. Like, oh, you, you, were saying, you were saying too. some shit too. You were saying some shit too. But, oh, fuck. It, people just gotta listen, right? Because. Is it me? Is it me at this point? Or is it bro? It's bro. It's bro. It's bro. <laughs> we, we, we're going to talk about his bro in the podcast again. Oh, fuck. We're going to talk right, about right. this. We're going to talk about his bro. Oh, oh. Hey, Dylan, did you have a... Have you heard of a LATTC? <laughs> Los Angeles Trade Tech College. Uh, you could become an electrician, a plumber, whatever the fuck. Stop podcasting. This shit is not for <laughs> you, Habibi. Straight up. We just need bro. Bro is smooth. <laughs> CR6. CR6. <laughs> we, we got fucking... What do you look like? <laughs> oh, 
Question. What do people call you, bro? Uh, what was the worst? Or keep it What was the worst roast you ever had? Oh, I'm gonna tell you mine. So a person weird. called me a lit backwood. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck was that so funny? <laughs> do you look like you still go to a salon for your haircuts? <laughs> You're a grown ass man. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, what was the worst roast? Tell me, tell me. Worst oh, roast? Shit. Damn. Oh, fuck. Nah, just right right now, honestly, everybody's calling me Jenny Rivera's brother, bro. Juan Rivera. I'm not Hispanic. I don't know who the fuck that is. Oh, fuck. Um, She's the a Mex- singer? The Mexican rock. There you go. That's a compliment, though. Yeah, you you do kind of look Samoan. This book can run. Oh yeah! He oh yeah! Run. Oh yeah! He, he almost. She a runner. She a track. I'm a track star. This book. <laughs> she a runner. She a track star. All right. So what's the worst roast you heard? <laughs> you uh, right now? All right. Well, without the haircut right now. Hot topic one was cold, huh? That was, that was good. <laughs> Enrique was cold. Um, Diego yeah. was cold. Edwin from. <laughs> does that look like him? You probably don't know. Or you guys keep saying shit that does not relate to me, bro. It's because so we. Do I don't you? think we've never been like really, really yeah. roasted the way you're roasting right now. Bro, do you think I'm roasting? Oh yeah, nah, bro. Bro, you should see how it is around my homies, bro. Do know the homie Dunder. Be- <sighs> for you, have you ever like thought to yourself like, damn, I don't think these guys could be my friends? Like, foo, that just happens to me on a weekly basis, foo. Yeah! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! CR6 spoke. It's not even funny, bro. Don't be dissing a homie. Oh fuck my stomach! So his plaid pants yeah. on. And <laughs> trying, ass man, he's trying to diss. Plaid pants on, trying to diss. Nah, so looking like a fucking dining table. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you goddamn picnic. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, bro. All right, All right. Okay. so to the programming. Mm-hmm. How do you just jump from that, though? Like, you could really just start. I can that. really do this. All right, go, go ahead. We've been on this. We've been doing good. We finally got to sit down with Jakarta and giving us a little bit about your life, your life experiences, your parents, your music, childhood, friends. What would you tell a young Jakarta now sitting in the position you're in now? Probably take shit seriously, you know, because I just started taking shit serious. And, like, imagine if I started taking shit serious, like, five years ago. My life would have been totally different, bro. You would have had a head start. Yeah, but already right now, I kind of do have a head start, don't you think? Like, yeah, a fuck me yeah. On, like, a lot of people believe in me. It's not really handouts, but it's like, hey, let's, you know, climb the ladder with me. Walk up these stairs, you know? So did you start your journey at the right time? I feel like it's destiny. You know what I'm saying? Like nice. I, I do believe in fate. I do believe in destiny. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It does, bro. And for the young, like, did you? <laughs> Why are you looking away? What? All right, let's do this. <laughs> we are doing this. Did Did you imagine yourself? <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you, Luis, bro? You need to buck up, nigga. For I'm, real. I'm All right, good. Run it back, run it back, run it back. We're We're it back. No, we We're need good. to run it back. We need to run it back. I said nigga. Just get that part out. We're good. Let's go. All right, Thanks. go, go. All right, go start. So, did you imagine yourself in this position where you're at right now? Career-wise? Personally-wise? Probably later on in my life, but I didn't think shit would happen this fast, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, like, it's at a very fast pace and, like, it's kind of hard for me to deal with, like, just shit going on so fast because it's, it's still unbelievable to me, you know, that right. I actually have, like, bro, I remember when I was, like, at the mosque working and I was like, man, I want to make music. Now I'm over here performing. Bro, I performed at the Novo. The Roxy. <coughs> the Regent. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. L.A. Staples. Catch one, like. But I remember when I was just struggling to find out what I wanted to do in life. You, you kind of get what I'm saying? Nice. And, like, music was for sure, like, it wasn't, it wasn't like a gateway or nothing, but it was for sure, like, something like, hey, man, like, I think this is it. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I had yeah. to look up and I had to really take responsibility and I had to take full action upon it because, bro, it's a bunch of people that believe in you. If you if you fuck up, bro, or not even fuck up, if you don't put a hundred into it, bro, you're not only disappointing yourself, bro. You're disappointing every single motherfucker that listen to your music, buy your tickets, like you feel me, your homies, studio, everybody, bro. Yeah. I can't be put in a position where I'm like, oh, I'm I'm the reason I fucked up. I'm the reason I lost, bro. I can't. I, I can't do that. I can't fathom that shit, bro. Cause I seen motherfuckers that had the keys, bro, and they couldn't open the doors. You get what I'm saying? I seen motherfuckers that were built way better than me, bro. Like career wise, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they had keys, bro. They had bigger head starts, bro. And they fucking fumbled, bro. I'm not saying I'm finna fumble because I know I'm not, bro. But it's like pressure is everything too. Like you know how a lot of people, hey man. You got it, bro. I know you're going to make it. Food. Like, are, these motherfuckers ain't in my shoes, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, a lot of people think that the studio is all fucking a party the whole time. Fool, my homies are there for two hours. Then it's six hours and me and the fucking engineer, fool. That shit sucks, dog. When your passion turns into work, that shit fucking sucks, bro. Because no longer shit is fun, my G. But you know, like, you have to do it, bro, because people would kill to be in the position that you're in. You get what I'm saying? I motherfuckers would die to be in the position I'm in, bro. I can't be over here fucking around doing stupid shit. It's embarrassing, bro. My parents didn't come from Indonesia, so I could be a dumbass, bro. Keep it players, real shit. You get what I'm saying? Nice. I don't know, bro. I just it's a lot of pressure, dog. And like, I know I'm not gonna fuck up, fool. Now that that's one of those things that, and I just told somebody else this two days ago. Our pressure, our stress, our whatever we're having is somebody else's dream that they could be having the opportunities that we have. They, we're sitting with the legend. Mm-hmm. We've sat down with so such amazing people, and they're just like, dude, you fucking did it, did it, it is. Mm-hmm. Do you know how much fucking work we have done to get here? How much time we take in, in doing the content, leg posting work, bro, it? Leg work, bro. Every, like, we do this in a day, bro, and no one sees only it. see the fun shit, right? Yeah. They only see whatever goes up on social media. They don't see everything else. The, and I'm the, not saying the, the life isn't fun. Fool. It's just it, It's amazing. It's insane, bro. But it's like, you do have to put in your work, too, just to, just to like, sure. you know what I'm saying? Like you got you to, gotta, in order to get the reward, you got to be able to work. You see, but I didn't know that, bro. Yeah. I was legit working off Duno's rewards. I was, I was, I was, I was rewarding myself off of what my homies did. You get what I'm saying? And I just started figuring shit out, like, Man, bro, you ain't putting in no fucking work. Bro, I'm just making something. Bro, you think that's crazy? No, nah, it's not, bro. I could put in so much more work. But now, like, y'all obviously, you know, I, I, I buckled up. You feel me? Like, but it's still, it's like, everyone could do more. Everyone in, their, everyone in any aspect in their life, they could always do more. You get what I'm saying? But I know I just can't do less. You get me? I can't backtrack, bro. Nah, we're, people are too invested in us. And even even if it's two people, one person. One person, bro. Hey, you believing in me is enough for me to not let you down. You feel me? Because no one needed to. No one does. Not even, like, bullshit bro, nobody, aside. Nobody needs to believe in Not Bro, like, not Nobody. Not even your world, parents. Not even, yeah, keep it player. They don't, bro. They don't. They don't, bro. Bro, like, I feel like, as a, you know, your job would have raised your kids. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I, I, some of my homies, they got parents where they're like, damn, 18, get the fuck out the crib. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like, or damn, I, I even have homies that don't even have parents, bro. And it's like, like, I see the way that these guys maneuver. Yeah. They didn't have a choice but to mature at such a young age. You get what I'm saying? Because they didn't have no other option, bro. Mom and pops wasn't there. If I have my mom and pops, you get what I'm saying? But that, but I'm not over here in my songs talking about, man, I never had a meeting. Like, no, bro. But whenever I came home, my mama cooked great food. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My dad, like, yeah, we couldn't get J's and, like, like, middle school and shit, but, bro, I had kicks, you know what I'm saying? I had clean shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you want to do more for for your people, right? Yeah. You get me? And it's like, but food, that shit is like, it's a bitch, bro. It really is a bitch, bro, because what happens if you can't? Do you do your own self, do you doubt yourself often? <laughs> All the fucking time. So what's that conversation you have with yourself? When you're doubting yourself and you got to buckle up. Shut the fuck up. Straight up. That's exactly what I tell myself. Shut the fuck up. 
anytime I'm in a bad situation, I think of motherfuckers in like, like wherever, like Indonesia, for example, bro. Bro, when I went to Indonesia, bro, I seen I seen kids like, like five year old kids just begging for food and like doing this and that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, for I think my situation is bad. Motherfuckers over here don't even know their next meal, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's don't even where where am I gonna sleep tonight? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that I'm was, not saying I'm not saying that makes your situation better, but it's like. Not it gives you a grasp, right? Yeah, like, bro, we're, if you don't feel like you're blessed in the situation that you're in, and how you said, some some people don't even know when they're going to eat, where they're going to sleep, mm-hmm. if they're going to be alive tomorrow or the next year, or the next, like, no one, they don't even know what tomorrow looks like. They just know how to survive today. They go day by day, bro. Survive. Yeah, day by day. And don't get me wrong, I was like, you know, day by day, I'm taking, I'm taking it, but I know... What's happening today? If something out of the out of the bloom just happens, hey, that's God's plan, bro. It's not mine. God's plan had it. But I know I could go eat. I could take care of my kids. I have a bed. I know this. Mm-hmm. But the type of pressure, how you said, the type of pressure that I have on myself is, damn, these people depend on me. And it's not even that. I heard it from someone else. Yeah, you're right. It's not even that. They don't no one depends on you. You feel like they depend on you. No, no, I don't feel like people depend on me. It's just like I depend on people. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, de- I'm a dependable person, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I know if I fall, bro, I expect my boys to catch me. Yeah, I expect my people to catch me. You know what I'm saying? But like, for what happens if you can't even do shit enough to fall? You get what I'm saying? And you don't even yeah. make shit. But that, that's between me and me. At, at the end of the day, you get what I'm saying? It's like you and your conscience, bro. And like, I'm an overthink. I'm a, I think of the word as a pessimist. Uh, like, right? It's like you think of the worst situations ever. Yeah, yeah. But that's like exactly what I do. I mean, if, I feel like if you don't pressure yourself, bro, you don't respect and love yourself enough to fucking put yourself in that position. But do you see how easy that is to say and not do? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Definitely. Especially right now, this day and age, it's so easy to just say things, put it out there for everybody that to see. Bro, that's why people have to recognize, bro, I give the best advice. Do I understand any of it? Nah, bro, because I can't, I can't put two and two together, bro. It's hard for me, bro. Like, putting action behind the words that you preach? Come on, fool. Like, yeah. it's life, though, you know? It. It's going to be, you're probably going to fuck up more than you're going to succeed. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's that's a fact. But, I mean, I guess it just depends how you bounce back, you know? Yeah, that that's the most important. You're always going to fall. No matter yeah. what happens, you're going to fall. How you bounce back <laughs> from it, how you maneuver from it, it's what makes you who you are. Yeah, I feel like people are defined. People are defined by the way they, um. what is it? People are defined by the way they, um. React to actions. You you can't understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. How they react in certain situations. Bro. Yeah, like, you come at me sideways. It's up to me, to How am I going to maneuver? Yeah, like, my big homie Osama, he used to tell me, he was like, hey, fool, like, like I remember, man, I used to get so mad at the mosque sometimes because I remember I used to do a lot of shit and I'd get no credit. And this fool would be like, hey, man, the, the strongest man lifts the, lifts the, like, he said, he lifts the heaviest without no one around type shit. You know what I'm saying? He said just some philosophical shit. Yeah. That shit, like, hit me in the head too, bro, because I'm like, that's like, like in ex- like for example, like let's say somebody like Christmas or whatever, right? You you give somebody a present, you are supposed to give it to somebody without expecting shit back, bro. Uh, out of love, yeah. right? Yeah. So when you do shit, you are supposed to do it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, especially now there's a world where it's just people want to take, and it's that, hey, I'm gonna help you out with this, but um, I'm gonna need this, and then and then what happens? Hey, let me throw that back in your face. Yeah. Hey, you can do, dude. I was the one that, bro. Like, I thought that was out of love. Now I know not to go back. Man, nah, but that shit still sucks too, bro. Cause I, like, yeah, but like, sometimes people are down. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes yeah. people are down and um, they do need help. Thanks. If I ask for help, I'm asking you, like, bro, being a man too, you know how hard that is asking somebody else for help? It's, it's damn near impossible, bro. Oh, yeah. Our ego, bro. You feel me? But not, it's, it's, it's understandable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, imagine that person helps you, and then they, man, what the fuck? You don't remember? Damn, Phil. I thought you were my dog, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but now it's, totally, now it's like, you're going to do that? Cool, bro. Keep Stay on your side. I'm good. And, and maybe it does hurt me, bro. Maybe I do take a loss. But I've always said it. I know my repercussions that are going to happen for the actions I take. Mm-hmm. And I'm, and if I'm going to do it, I'm good with it. 
whatever action I already, t- I re- I'm already good. I already made amends with whatever repercussion. I'm good. Whether I'm gonna be alone for a little bit, I'm gonna be sad for a- cool, bro. This you make wholehearted is. decisions. You gotta stand by what you do, bro. What is, what's that phrase? All a man has is his ma- is his word. All yeah. a man has is his word. That's it. So if there is there a quote you live by that you always remember? So good. Um, we still are doing good. That's Probably sad, like, um, uh, you had something to say, Dylan? Oh, no, no, I said, no, no, go for it. That's what the fuck I thought. <laughs> um, probably Ooh. like, uh, raise your hand next time. Just pray to <laughs> fucking kid. All right, all right, no, I'm done, I'm done. Um, treat people how you want to be treated, bro. Oh, straight golden rule. The fuck? And that's the most basic shit in the world, bro. If I'm treating you with respect, bro, I expect it back. Right. If I give you love, I expect it back. But if it's not a given, it's cool. Stay on that side. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep moving forward. Simplicity at its finest, bro. Dude. I love that. I love that hon- honestly, this has been the best 14 minutes of my life right now. That was crazy how we that shit was crazy how we just maneuvered. No one laughed. <laughs> well, I did that shit. Yufus didn't do shit, bro. Even you know how I fucking did it. It was me shit. that ran this shit right now. <laughs> we were doing so good. Now we gotta do this. It's cool. All right, man. Are we are we ending it right now? If yeah, you want to end, end it? it? Oh no, I'm cool. I could talk more. I don't go. No, you can end it. Like, we'll, we'll, we're the guests in your show now. This, this is all you, big guy. Go for it. <laughs> Toast to life, man. It's your card slam. Episode what? Crazy. Oh, crazy. Well, the best episode. See you guys later. Best episode. Toast Alive, you already know. Stay mother-loving tuned, baby. Oh.